Hey, Scarefest, this is Joe Lewis. Oh, oh my God. The shit I watch for you all sometimes. This week's movie is probably the second worst movie I've had to review since I've been doing this for Wes and Scarefest for the last two years. The worst, the watching a shit in the bucket is still 2018 Slaughterhouse Rules. Look it up. Great cast, terrible movie. But this week is Monster Hunter. Woo! All right, so this is directed by Paul W.S. Anderson, and I got this for free, and I'm so glad I didn't have to pay. Now, if you're wondering who that is, Paul W.S. S. S. Anderson gave us a movie that a lot of people love called Event Horizon. He also is responsible for all... He produced and wrote all of them, and he directed, I think, five out of the six or four out of the six Resident Evil films, right? He's the one that made them in 3D. He directed the first one, wrote and produced this other two, and then the rest of them are written and directed by him. And like those movies, this also stars Mila Jovovich, who was his wife, and she's a very capable actress. People crap on her all the time. That's not it. This movie also has Ron Perlman and another dude I don't even know. Oh, God, it's just so bad. The writing's bad. The first act is awful. The second act is almost unbearable. The only reason this movie gets a pass as far as not being the worst film I've ever had to set through for this is because of the third act. This movie sucks. It's awful. But if you can make it through to the third act, to when Ron Perlman kind of shows up in a blonde wig, I don't know who didn't watch him walk on the set and go, no, 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 you really shouldn't be wearing that. It doesn't look good on you. But there's some dragons and a big fight scene. And I like dragons, even though most dragon movies suck. But there's a big fight scene. I'm not giving anything away. Stick around till you see the dragons fight. And that's for the last 20 minutes. It's pretty cool. Basically, Mila Jovovich is an army person and her. Her and her platoon are accidentally transported to this world where there's nothing but sand and monsters and things out to kill you. Australia. And they have to fight them off. She ends up losing her whole damn platoon. She makes friends with a guy and they can't understand each other. And they only share chocolate in common. Seriously, she gives him a piece of chocolate. And that's the only word he learns. It sucks. It's awful. Okay, it is awful. It is dreadful. But once he gets to the end with the dragons, that last 20 minutes, I actually was doing this. Going, hmm, what's that? This, this, this cool. That's cool. It's based, according to James Thomas, on a video game. I've never played the video game. He says the video game doesn't have much of a plot. You just go in another world and fight monsters. That's pretty much this. The other thing that's awful about this movie, I mean, just terrible, is there's not really even an ending. The ending just sets up for the sequel. It just kind of goes, we've got to go back and fight these monsters. And there's more. There's another dragon, which they call it a Roth. Blah, 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 I don't know. The movie's awful. And there's not an ending. It's just a setup for a sequel. Oh, my God. It's just awful. It's terrible. It's just not as bad as Slaughterhouse Rules. Sorry, Simon Pegg, Nick Frost. It's not as bad as that piece of shit. It's just close. If it didn't have 15 minutes to 20 minutes of dragon fighting, just skip it. So if you see this movie called Monster <laughs> Hunter Rules House, I don't care what it's called. Just skip Monster Hunter. Just skip it. Unless you're just a huge Resident Evil fan, not this new Raccoon City one. I'm talking about the other six, seven of them. If you're a huge fan of those. Check this out. And Paul, it's another level, man. You've got to another level. Please give us another event horizon before it's all said and done. This has been Joe Lewis of Bonehead Weekly. Do not see Monster Hunter unless you just watch the last 20 minutes. You won't miss a damn thing. 